Hi, I'm General Pohl and welcome to my guide to using console commands in Hearts of Iron 4. If you're looking to cheat in your game, work around bugs or to generally just mess around in the game world, then console commands are here to help. I will include all of the commands I will use in this video in the description below for your convenience. To open the console, you need to press the backtick key, the tilde key or shift alt c depending on your keyboard layout. Pressing this key again will close it. Let's start off with a few simple commands. The first being help. So this command shows you all the different commands that you actually can run within the console. It's very useful. And you can also run it with a specified parameter. So if you type in help and a certain command, it'll give you details about that command and how to use it. So for instance, if I type in help tag, It'll tell me that the tag command accepts the country tag as a parameter and allows you to switch tag to another country. The next command we're going to look at is the observe command. So this here allows you to enter observe mode and the game will play with only the AI. Useful for the likes of time lapses, etc. Next is the fog of war command, which is F O W. This toggles the fog of war. As you can see here, I can now see all the divisions in the nearby countries. This can be quite useful. Again, this is a toggable command, so run it again to hide them again. Following on from this is the weather command. This merely just turns off the weather simulation. And it is a toggable command as well, so running it again will turn it back on. Some of these next commands are a little more complex. They use different parameters. But if, to start off, we are going to use the command tdebug. And what this does, it enables the tooltip debugging mode. This is very useful as it allows us to see different information in the game, like the IDs of provinces and equipment and states, which is very useful for the commands that we are going to look at. The tag command allows us to switch between the different nations in the game. So simply type in tag along with the tag of the country you wish to play such as BEL for Belgium and you can see now we are now playing as Belgium. So I'll just quickly switch back here to France. Okay, next command is the tag underscore color command. So what this command does, it changes the color of your nation. So what you need to do is type in tag underscore color, the tag of the country and then the color you wish it to change that in RGB format. So you can see here, I've changed France to a dark blue. For this next command, we need to have a leader or a general selected. And what it is, is gain underscore XP. And what this does is give XP to that selected general or leader. So these next few commands are quite straightforward to use. The first is CP for combat power, and this is followed by the amount you wish. And you can see there, I have received 100 combat power. Following on from this, we are going to use the command ST, which is for stability. Again, you enter the amount you wish, but this one has a max of 100. And you can see my stability there has jumped up. Okay, on to the next one. It is WS. Again, this one uses an amount, and this is for war support. So, enter in a number here, and that will increase your war support. Next command is XP. This also has a parameter for amount, and what this does, it gives XP to all your units within your nation. And now we're on to PP, which gives you political power. So I enter here PP100 and you can see my political power is now at 100. Very useful. On from this is manpower. Again, takes a, an amount for a parameter. And I'll just add in 5,000 here. And you can see my manpower has increased by 5,000. Next command is the fuel command. Again, you enter the amount after fuel and that gives you that amount of fuel. Next command is allow traits. 
What this command does, it allows you to assign any traits to your general, so it removes all restrictions. The next command is add underscore ideas. And so you'll see here that we have an invalid number of arguments. So we need to have an additional argument at the end of this command. So if you hit the tab button, you'll get this list. It says the list of the different ideas that we can use. And so uh, you can scroll up here and there's a whole load of different ideas. So I'm just gonna pick one of these here and we will show you how it works. So just type in brave underscore commanders underscore spirit. And you can see here that idea has now been added. Next command that I'm going to show is add underscore party underscore popularity. And so this adds popularity to the party of your choice. So you need to use the following parameters like so. So you've got F for fascism, D for democratic, N for neutrality, and C for communism. And then what you then follow with that is the amount of popularity you want to increase by. So for example here, I'm going to use communism, so it'll be C and 50, and that gives me 50 popularity to the communist party. Following on from that there, we are going to use the command set underscore ruling underscore party, which sets the ruling party for the country. So once again, we have to use our FDNC parameters. So you can see here, I have changed my party to communist. Next command I'm going to show you is the add interest command, which is add underscore interest. And then you enter the country tag, so BL for Belgium. And you can see now Belgium has been added to my interest. To undo this, we can use the remove underscore interest. And again with Belgium at the end, and that removes Belgium from my interest. For this next command, we need to ensure we have some active researchers. And the command is research. And it's followed by a number parameter. In this case, we're going to use zero, which is for this first research. And you can see here, the research has been researched. And then we can use the same command again. This time we'll use the parameter one, which will uh, research the second, and two to research the third. So just remember, it's zero, one, two. And of course, if you're too lazy, you can just use research with the parameter all, and that'll research all. Next command is instant construction, all one word. And this does exactly what it says. Everything is built instantaneously. And it is a toggable command, so you enter it again to disable it. And just be aware that this also affects the AI too. Next up, we have instant training, which is similar to instant construction. All units are trained instantaneously. And again, this affects the AI too. The next command is focus.autocomplete. And what this does, this allows for instant completion of the national focuses. So it also affects the game's AI, so use with caution. If I go into the national focuses here, I can show you. You can see here, selecting this here, hit start, instantaneously it is completed. Next command is the focus dot no checks. And when this is enabled, it ignores any requirements for the national focuses. Following on from this, we have focus dot ignore prerequisites. And so what this does, it ignores any prerequisites for the focus tree. So I'll quickly demonstrate this by going back into National Focuses and you can see I can check the focuses that are further down the tree. I don't have to pick the ones that are before. Okay, next we're going to look at some equipment and units related commands. The first of these is the add underscore latest underscore equipment command and this gives you an amount of uh, the latest piece of equipment you have unlocked or researched. So in this case here, I use 5,000 as the parameter and I've been granted 5,000 of all equipment types. Next is add underscore equipment. This uses two parameters, the amount and the equipment name. So I'm entering in 500 here and then for equipment name, I'm going to 
to put in infantry underscore equipment underscore one and is prevent underscore operative underscore detection and what this command does it uh, means that your operatives and spies won't be detected anymore this is a toggable command so running it again will reverse it so the next command I'm going to show you is the delete all units command and so this uses the nation tag so if I type in delete all units followed by FRA for France this here will then delete all army units belong to France so if I run the game on here you can see automatically all the units disappear they've all been deleted okay so next I am going to show you some commands that are around diplomacy and war the first of these is the civil war command so to type in civil war and this takes two parameters the first is the ideology and the second is the country tag so in this case here I'm going to put in fascism you can also use democratic neutrality or communism followed by the country tag which I've used is Belgium and as you can see here now Belgium is now in a civil war so the next command I'm going to show you is allow diplo and so what this command does it allows you to use any diplomatic action so you can see here with Belgium I can basically select any option here normally these have to have specific requirements fulfilled and actually just to demonstrate this if I go back into Belgium here I can declare war on them straight away as you see I'm now at war with Belgium and that leads me to our next command which is the white peace command this takes two parameters which is the two nations that are at war so in this case here I'm going to put in BEL for Belgium FRA for France and that there will establish now a white peace between our two nations the next command is yes man when toggled on the AI will accept any diplomatic offer that you send them so to show you I'll go into somebody who doesn't like me so Belgium won't do Germany that's more like it and as you can see they'll accept anything that I will send them again you can toggle it off by running the command once more and you can see here the effects of that okay the next command that I'm going to show you is the annex command so I uh, this here takes a parameter for a country nation so type in annex and in this instance I shall annex the ever neutral Switzerland so that's SWI is their tag and as you can see Switzerland now belongs to the French following on from that there we have the puppet command this takes two parameters the puppeteer country and the puppet target country so in this case here we are going to put in FRA for ourselves and SPR for Spain you can see Spain is now our puppet the next command I'm going to show you is the set owner command so what this does it sets the owner of the state you've selected so I've selected Württemberg here put F or A for France and now I own that state similarly we have the set controller command so with it it works on a province level so if we select a province and run that command and again put in F or A for France now that province is controlled by France next we are going to use the add core command so for this one here we need the state ID and the country you want to add that their state to and then so we'll type this in here so we will add underscore core the state ID is what was it again 158 okay yeah so 158 and then FRA for France and now we have a core on that state which I'll just show so just click on it here and you can see now foreign claims we have a core on it the final set of commands I'm going to show you are the nuke command 
which takes an amount parameter. So I've just added here 500 nukes to my arsenal. And the next command I'm going to use is the debug underscore nuking. And what this allows is you to nuke all provinces. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this here. So if I click on any province here, you can see that I have the option to nuke it. Doesn't matter what province it is at all. I have the option to nuke it. So let's go nuke Berlin. Select Berlin, nuke, and uh, yeah, so a bit of fun to end this video with. Now this was just a small selection of the console commands that are available in Hearts of Iron 4. You can find more on the console commands page in the Hearts of Iron wiki. I have a link included in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.